Hi, everybody. Morning, evening, afternoon to everybody. I think this is truly our most global meeting that we have like in terms of like encompassing the globe. So um, so it's nice to have everybody here. Minutes are in the chat. Oh, here is the metrics model meeting. So um, I'll share my screen. So a few things um, today. Um, one, if Sean can't join, we'll just we'll kind of defer to a, a little bit later. But um, Yui, you're the first. Do you want to tell us how the Compass Lab release went? I think that was earlier this week. Is that right? Uh, actually, the last week. Last last week, we officially released the Compass Lab, and uh, we make a live demo. Uh, on 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 Thursday or on Wednesday, I quite quite remember that but anyway it's uh, it's released in last week actually the week before the last week i have made a, a very short demo uh, in our meeting uh, uh, using the prototype uh, environment and uh, today I, I would like to quick go through uh, the whole lab functions uh, and uh, to let you know how is it going on and uh, and by the way we also provide a, a, a blog um, a written for uh, intro introduce this Compass Lab, uh, written by by Ran Zhou, uh, our Compass Community Manager. Yeah. I love the uses of emojis as punctuation. <laughs> yeah. So was there something you wanted to share as well, Yuhui? Did you want to share your screen or? Uh, maybe I can go quick, uh, quickly go through the comment oh. slide. Yeah. I thought okay. I was looking at Yuhui's screen, so. No, this is my screen. <laughs> so, all right, hold on just a second. All right, Yuhui, you should be able to share your screen. Yeah, I, I can quickly share my screen. And... Uh, Yep, we can see it. Yeah. And here's the live. And actually, someone has made a, a metric uh, a, a live for that. Uh, also, my colleague made a, made a demo for Start Project Chaos. And that's the metric created by ourselves, by, 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 by Chaos. John? Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, we have uh, several entry points. You can use this create a model or create a model now uh, to create a new model. And uh, you can you can uh, enter a model name here to uh, select selecting into one of the dimension. Uh, maybe here it's a um, mm, uh, test, kill test. And uh, this is uh, a general uh, general uh, model, or it's a specific for one uh, in industries or fields. Uh, you can choose that. Uh, so uh, the default one is a common model, but whatever, because some some uh, some metric model on, only available or suitable for for one specific uh, technical fields. Uh, you can you can click here. And uh, and choose public or non-public means uh, if you would like to share the, the creation of the pro, uh, the model's progress uh, with everyone to, to share it uh, under this lab, then everyone could uh, could see the pro how it's going on and everyone could join this uh, discussion or you wanna create it uh, by yourself and collaborate with your members. Uh, being uh, except for yourself and and your collaborators, uh, any other ones could could not see the creation of the, the models, and then um, you can you can pick up any of the models, under uh, you can pick up the uh, the data site. Uh, you would like to tr create the uh, the models on on several data sites. You if you would like to choose. For example, the big data, we have several ones on the blockchain, whatever, and confirm that. And uh, it will tell you, okay, you, you pick up the two 
uh, technical fields, why it's big, uh, why it's for big data, why it's for digital currency, and which um, in each of single fields, it can includes two uh, data sites. I mean, the two, uh, the different uh, repositories as your data site. And then you can add your, your matrix model. And, and uh, we have 35 different uh, uh, categories, gate related, issue related, peer, poor requests related and repositories and contributor related. Uh, from some of the, uh, the uh, metrics, because we, if we have a, a very clear definitions, uh, it's powered by chaos, we will add it light. Oh. Yeah. And some of them haven't uh, added, haven't been added to, 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 to chaos, then we will not yeah, showing we, that. But yeah, anyway, we did not invent time. So yeah. So <laughs> anyway, so uh, I hope I hope finally we can add all the metrics marked with the power by chaos. Finally. So after you pick up the whole the metrics uh, and this size, you can define the weights and threshold for the each of single metric. So here, the default weight for the each of single metric is a uh, is just the average the weight of the sing and single equal weight you, across them. Yeah. Yeah, but you can you can adjust that as you wish. Also, you can use some different other algorithm to 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 uh, to calculate the weight as you wish. And this, this threshold. Does yeah. the threshold imply a point of? Uh, have like a like a safe range, like a range you're happy within with for that metric, basically. Uh, basically, it's a it's a threshold coming from the like mm -hmm. uh, more than uh, twenty to thirty thousand uh, repositories. Okay. Already, uh, we 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 have in com compass, and we uh, observe the value range between those uh, repositories. We think we give a a. a something like a reasonable values yeah. for most of the, uh, the, the metric. But uh, of course, if you think the threshold or maximum values is too high or too, lo too, too low, you can tell us, you can, uh, we can, we can draw that. But uh, anyway, you can, uh, as before, you can use the default one, but uh, you, currently you can, you can set as you. So, so those are those would be literal thresholds, like um, yeah. either they're, they're, they're literal numbers. It's not a scale. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 After after the weight and threshold definition done, and uh, we pick up the algorithm selections, which means we use the, all the metrics to calculate the final result. And uh, I I showed uh, the algorithm we use. It's uh, derived from the raw pack. And, uh, and he he before he's retired, he working in at Google for more than twenty years. And before he working in Google, he working in Bell libraries for many years. So mm. he invent this algorithm. And we also uh, uh, announced that it's an in initially employed by OSS Credit Analytical Score. And um, yeah, and we make some slight of uh, improvement. Uh, for this algorithm to make them more uh, time time range suitable because mm -hmm. currently it's just a one shot uh, uh, point time shot point point time yes yeah. exactly so here we explain the whole uh, algorithm and each of single parameters meaning uh, yep s means matrix values t means threshold alpha means weight so this is our de default algorithm but uh, yeah, if you have any more ideas about algorithm, you can you can just uh, tell us what's your ideas. We can implement a new one for for everyone. Yeah, after after we uh, have understand uh, the term of use, and uh, we click the C one. Yeah, then this one will show up here, uh, chaos test, mm. and uh, and this the it it has a default version number, which, which is zero, zero, one. And if yeah. you want to click on one more version for that, it's new versions. Uh, the default name will not change. 
uh, the, if it's a public or not public, we are not changed, but you can, you can give it's a specific new version number and select the different data size and different uh, metric for this new version. Anyway, and upon this new, um, uh, uh, the, the, the new metric model, you can trigger the, the analysis. After you trigger the analysis, yeah, the last time triggers unsubmitted. Yeah, I can confirm that. So it's a start analyzing. And after you, you, you after it, it may take some time anyway. So we can check the, the one we have complete the, the analysis. We can see the view report. And uh, you can see that we have already the several uh, data sites for this start project health metrics model. You can you can click up what anyone uh, anyone thing. For for example, I click uh, and next this one, yep. And uh, and uh, if you notice that we have discussion here, and you want to discuss around this metrics model, or you want to discuss one of this each of single metric, you can click here discuss. And uh, it we are showing here. You can you can share your your ideas about the how to create this metrics model. Uh, add your comments. Yeah. Is the and, is the intention to be adding comments about this metric or metric model for the repository I'm looking at, or more generally from a design perspective? For the design perspective, it's more like we may create a new metrics model definition or metrics def definition on the Google Doc. Yeah, uh, you okay. can give comments. Uh, of oh. course, yeah. Excellent. And uh, and uh, yeah, here my models. Uh, if you notice here, um, members. Uh, I just mentioned I'm the creator of this new metrics model. Um, but uh, I would like to uh, collaborate with other guys. Uh, for example, from you, Shins, I, I, I would like to invite you to collaborate yeah. with me. Oh. Uh, and uh, and uh, I will give you some uh, access right. The default oh. one is uh, just a blockable. Uh, no matter I public or non-public, if I mm -hmm. invite you as a collaborator, you accept that. You, you can you consider uh, this model under your your models, this, this here. Okay. And you can also give you the access right to trigger the, the analysis. So whenever you add a new metric or whenever you change another new data site, you can change, you can, you can trigger this metrics model or you can modify the metrics model, which means you can add, add one more or, or delete some metric from this metrics model or you can yeah, do some yes. other configurations. Is, is the underlying intention then that the data sets exist and people can access them and I can create a metrics model from yeah. any data set? Yeah, exactly. Because we have more than 20,000 uh, data sites here. You can add any one of that. So the, the, how do you invite the collaborator? You just email the multiple uh, email address, if you yeah. like, with commas separately. Yeah, yeah. That's that, that. That's the generally the uh, the the quick demo for for all the uh, for all the functions as far as I can see. And um, 